Hickok 45 here. Watermelon season is about over. <laughs> but pumpkin season is just beginning. Click. <laughs> yeah. 45 ACP doesn't do a lot to those melons, does it? Maybe it's because it is almost October. Yep, Hickok 45 firing one of my favorite firearms. And it's a great firearm for a one-handed man or one-handed boy, whichever you consider me. And guess what? I was even firing 45 ACP. That was not a joke. Because if you know anything about this firearm, if you saw the first video, you know that it has a cylinder for a 45 ACP. That's what I was shooting. And just to prove I'm not making a joke, I'll load it up with some more of that. How's that? Before we switch over. Yep, this is the uh, Davy Colt. Uh, seven and a half inch uh, made in 2016 and uh, third generation Colt single action for a one-handed man it's hard to beat a Colt single action I was just in the mood to shoot the thing I'm not supposed to shoot with this hand yet but you know what I'm going to do anyway don't tell my doctor okay you promise you won't tell him okay I'm going to take this off I just got the cast off a couple of days ago so whatever you're seeing this you know most of you know by now I had a broken hand and it's, uh, it's about a month into it, it's five weeks now. And uh, I'm in, the, in this now, and I can take it off. So it's kind of nice. I'm supposed to wear it most of the time and not lift you know, anything much at all or anything like that. Believe it or not, I still have a finger, a little swollen, broken right there. Right there is where it was broken, the metacarpal, not the tarsal, <laughs> the metacarpal. Okay, hands all, I should have put some lotion on it. It's in a cast for five weeks. So it's still healing. It's about uh, probably 75%, 80% now, I don't know. But uh, as long as I, I'm nice to it, don't fall down, take care of it. I can be out of the cast sometimes, or out of the brace. So we'll just take it off for now. I know my limitations, and just don't tell anybody, okay? I'm serious. So that'll make it easier to unload this. So now I can unload like I like to do, catch them in my hand. How's that? See? I can use the old method. <laughs> so, oh, oh, I can't bend my, ironically, it's broken here, but the pain is in my, my finger, you know, and even in my wrist, because I wasn't bending it for a long time, and I still can't bend my finger like the other one. I can get it down about like that, but that'll get better. It's getting a little bit better, okay? So, these fingers and thumb, I'm, I'm still almost well, normal on those, okay? So, just to update you on that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know, look around the videos, you see I broke my hand. All right, so it's nice to have my hand back 80% uh, or whatever. I can, uh, I'm not going to shoot with it. All right, so doc, don't get excited. I'm not going to shoot with it. I'll shoot with my right hand, which I typically do anyway with these. And I can steady them. I won't even do much lifting with it. So, yeah, I've got the 45 ACP cylinder in it. And I thought I'd start out shooting 45 ACP. This is, uh, you've seen, I will link to the video with these firearms. The first one called something like Three Generations of Colt. I think Colt Single Action, Three Generations. Okay, you've got to see that video. All right, Just to understand these Colts, these specific ones, where they came from and all that. Okay, and, uh, and again, these didn't come from Bud's, but we appreciate everything BudsGunShop.com does for us. All right. So many firearms we get from them on loan, and it actually helps make things like this possible, though, even though, you know, indirectly, all right? So check them out. Also, if you're not an NRA member, I hope you'll go to the link in our description and join there and get a discount. Helps the NRA, helps us. It helps the gun rights movement more than anything, okay? So think about that. Check it out, and uh, become a member if you're not, and also become a member of as many organizations as you can afford. That's what I do. And uh, we're shooting federal ammo, of course. You see this good stuff? We're going to switch over to the long colt here uh, after we shoot these, maybe. Uh, so, as you have learned from us, uh, really high speed uh, rounds will explode a watermelon. But generally speaking, a 45 ACP doesn't do much. Now, sometimes it'll do more than that. It depends on the melon. Now, a two liter it'll take out. <laughs> see? There's one right there. Oh, you have to hit it first. Looks like I wounded it. Woo! Wow! 
He was mad. Yeah, that's the thing. If you've ever been to Africa hunting, you don't want to wound a lion. And I've never done it, but kind of like the same thing. Click. Uh, <laughs> oh, nothing more dangerous than a wounded two liter, huh? So, uh, boy, it's nice to have this hand uh, sort of back. I'm, I'm enjoying that. And I tell you what, uh, I saw an FAQ some guy did something about not realizing what you got till you lose it. Uh, I think it was an expert uh, barman Bailey juggler. Ah, and, uh, yeah, he really said it well, I thought. So, yeah, it's neat to uh, have my hand back and be able to shoot these beauties. I'm not going to go through everything. I'll link to that first video, but wanted to shoot this one individually, do a kind of a first video with it. I don't think we've done that. Uh, and just, it's mainly about this gun, mine. Okay. This one is John's, the short barrel and the middle barrel. Uh, it sort of belongs to little Davy. It will be, right? Technically, it's ours. You know, it belongs to his dad. But uh, then again, you know, it's going to belong to little Davy. He doesn't even know it yet. How's that for cool? So let me take the cylinder out and we'll make the big switch over. So now these are all consecutively numbered, by the way, as I go over in that video. And uh, man, with everything that's happened at Colt, it's been two years, you know, since we had all these out and did that first video. Uh, okay, which one did I take? <laughs> Here we go, 45 Colt, let's make sure. Yeah, uh, see the 45 Colt won't fit in this one. This just goes down a ways, 45 ACP. So all three of them have the ACP cylinders that have been fitted and, uh, and they all work. It's pretty cool, I guess. Now Davies, we don't know yet for sure because we have not fired it. We're gonna let him do that someday. All right, we're not gonna shoot his gun and wear it out. We'll wait till he's about 30, let him try it, right? So we're now we're in 45 long Colt, 45 Colt, business okay or territory and now long cold coming about I, I didn't mean to get into that but uh, back in the day uh, 45 Schofield there were some other cartridges that were shorter and you know the military had a problem with that when the Schofield was adopted they bought some of them for the military cavalry especially and it took a, a 45 Schofield round which was shorter and I think that's where that comes from the long Colt you know to differentiate between the two but it's really 45 Colt is officially the name of the cartridge. Okay, I've got six, I'm gonna load five though. If you don't know why I'm doing that, look up our video. Should you load five or should you load six? Something like that. And that will explain it all. We demonstrate it pretty well, I think. Ah, okay, so I'm being careful with my hand, doctor. Okay. It's funny, the pain I get is in my wrist or my little finger. It's not where the break actually was. And so that's good. Yeah. All right. All right, let's shoot something else. Like, uh, let's smoke a little pot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's hit that pumpkin again. I'm going to shoot the stem near the top. Boom. I shot the stem off. Boom. It should be empty, and it is. Oh, man. You know, as I've said before, it's hard to decide which barrel length is, is well, I won't say best, quote-unquote. It depends on who your, your preference is. You know, for me, I think, John and I were talking about before the video, I think this is my favorite barrel length because it was kind of the original cavalry model, 1873. Uh well, that wouldn't be the only reason it's my favorite. I, I like the feel of it. Uh, I like the length of it. It just feels good, points well. It's easier to shoot well and generally, uh, but I mean, they all shoot straight. It's strictly the barrel length, but you get a little more sight radius. But every barrel length, as I've said, is just great. I brought out just some uh, decoration here today. Uh, this is kind of a stag party here, right? We got all the stag grips and these knives. You've seen some of these before. So I just kind of grabbed some stuff that there's something about a stag handle on a firearm or a, uh, a knife. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's just something special. People have uh, felt that way for a long time. This is my Idaho Knife Works. I never tell you about the knives. I know Idaho Knife Works. I bought that in 2000 because I remember it was the year my mother died. And uh, this one is a Puma Bowie. And I bought that in 74. Same year I bought the Puma. Uh, Hunter's Pal and the Puma Earl. I think those are all 74. 
And then this is a Lyle, Jimmy Lyle knife I bought in uh, 76 because it was the uh, bicentennial year. So anyway, on the knives. But there's just something about a stag or a bone handle and a, and a firearm or a, or a knife that's it's, it's kind of cool. And you know what I mean, don't you? Not uh, telling you anything you don't know. I'll shoot some of these uh, other 45 Colts here. And so we've got this generous uh, amount of ammo from Federal. We pretty, they're kind of strange, aren't they? They don't look like cowboy days, uh, of course, as much. But they're, they're good rounds. They're lead, 225 grain, semi-wide cutter, hollow point. Ooh, it's dangerous. Better be careful what I shoot those at. They might explode something. Nah. I'll show you, there's no real difference. I'll shoot that pumpkin or that watermelon. Ah, okay. okay. Cock it, empty chamber. This is kind of unique, be able to shoot a watermelon all you want without it blowing up. I want you to explode with these hollow points. I to eat my words. <laughs> Let's put one on the pumpkin. They do feel warm, they're pretty fast rounds. Yeah. Let's put a couple on this target. All right. Mm, a little high. I think that's all. Yeah, I'm empty. I'll shoot the cowboy. Click. Yeah, click. Okay. You don't get a lot of rounds with an old Colt single action or a Schofield or any of these old single actions. But you don't need a lot of rounds. It's usually a pretty good sized bullet. And as far as just shooting them and enjoying them, uh, the enjoyment is not blasting 100 or 200 rounds. So the enjoyment is just shooting them, loading them, unloading them, the beauty of the firearm. And uh, just again, a quick overview. Uh, I ordered these from Colt like two years ago, almost three years ago. It took months and months and months to get them. Uh, to get them consecutive order orders uh, in consecutive order you know the three firearms uh, based on the serial number and they're, they're a, well i got them just under the wire because the the colt custom shop where they're made underwent quite a few changes just directly after uh i took delivery on them and uh i won't say it blew up but i, I think they have far fewer employees now and if you called and said, I want three consecutively serial numbered Colt single actions, I don't know what they'd tell you. They may, <laughs> they may laugh at you if you just ordered one, but they might tell you if you tried to get three of them that, yeah, yeah, we'll make those. Uh, let's see, we'll have those to you by 2029, we think, you know. I don't know what they'll tell you. I have no idea. I hear so many different stories. And, uh, you know, you just don't know. I put an empty case in there, didn't I? Okay. But they're all beautiful, and, uh, you know, there's nothing like a single action, you know, that. I've said that to you a lot of times. It doesn't have to be a Colt. I uh, hope you experience a single action sometime. Uh, you know, Cimarron, your Birdie, uh, Taylor & Company. Uh, there's so many people making them, selling them, and they're all pretty good. Most of them are pretty good guns, uh, and for a lot less money than a Colt. And then you've got two or three companies or more that have really nice ones. You know, standard manufacturer ring is making, you know, equal quality or better now. Uh, so it depends on whether you want to pay 500 bucks or 1500 or 2000 what you can afford. But uh, Colts are kind of an investment. And, uh, you know, anyway, but mainly they're just fun to shoot. Oh, man, we got too many targets. We got to get them out. We got to take care of them. Let's see here. Get that Kentucky two liter. <laughs> Let's get these other guys. Oh, what a wound I, oh man. I hate to shoot a man when he's down, John, but I'm going down here. He was half empty, so I actually did hit him uh, the first time, a little better than I thought. So uh, anyway, 
that's, that's the way it goes. It's empty, but I'm going to point it to the sky and uh, I'll load it maybe another time here and, uh, and shoot it. Uh, those of you who really enjoy single actions, I know you, you know why I, I like these so much. And hopefully those who have not shot one, you sort of can appreciate them and, and you're thinking about uh, firing one sometime. I guess, you know, when you get down to it, uh, all these nice gun shops and ranges we have now, indoor ranges, where you can rent all sorts of firearms. I don't know if there's many of them where you can rent a single action, you know. Uh, let us know if there's one around you're aware of, but I don't know if you see many of these. Uh, I don't know, I shouldn't say that. Buds might have them, because they have uh, indoor ranges really nice and lots of guns to rent. And, and I know other gun shops here around Nashville that, that have a lot of guns to rent you know, at their ranges. I just don't recall seeing this sort of thing, but they may have them, I just haven't noticed. All right, let's see, should we shoot some 45 ACP again? Oop, wrong cylinder, look at that. That didn't go so well, did it? I did that on purpose, of course. But uh, yeah, that wouldn't work. You need the other cylinder. And so let's fire some 45 Colt. Hear that click? It's a great sound great sound oh boy I'm glad you came out to uh, to enjoy this firearm with me I, I really am because I enjoy them on my own but it's, it's just better to share you know it really is and I uh, appreciate your support coming out you know you folks uh, that watch the videos and kind of keep up with us and uh, Gong Club members over on the Patreon account and just everybody we get so much more support than we deserve because we're a couple of goofballs Especially John. Let's see. I, I don't think I've hit the cowboy. How could I have a Colt single action out this long? Oh, I almost forgot me here. And not shoot the cowboy. <laughs> Boom, got him right in the hat. <laughs> oh, I know something else I've not shot, right? Yeah. Gong. Okay. Got to hold low. It, it, it shoots high, like all these things tend to do. Uh, well, thought I heard it ring, but not loud. Hey, that's better. That's, <laughs> I just haven't fired a shot till I've hit the gong. How about this coffin down here? That's appropriate, too. What a morbid place. I've got a tombstone, too. Let's hit it. Oh, man. And let's shoot the stop sign. Oh, let's go. Well, I've got to shoot the stop sign in order to stop, so I'm, I can reload pretty quickly. It's really nice having my hand back, even though I have to be careful how I use it. Again, don't you dare tell my doctor, all right? I'm not lifting with it. I'm not shooting with it, okay? I'm, I'm being good. I'm babying it along till it's fully healed. I'm not going to get a hold of a 458 wind mag, you know, and be shooting it. Unless I can do it with one arm, one hand. All right, this, I promise this will be it. All right, let's just spread uh, the wealth around a little bit. I think I see a 12 ouncer sitting right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's put another one on the watermelon. Say goodbye to summer. Let's welcome fall again. Boom. And let's hit the cowboy again. And I guess it's time to stop what we're doing. So let's shoot the stop sign. Boom. That's it. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. So anyway, generation three, third gen Colt single actions, consecutive number. I'll link to the first video, like I said, and uh, you need to watch that, that video if you have any interest in these at all or what I'm talking about, okay, I'll give you the history of it, and uh, you know, just, just something I wanted to do before my grandson was born, so when he got started on before he was born, and because uh, again, they're, they're kind of an investment, they're a special uh, heirloom, heirloom in a lot of ways, you know, something that you can keep for speaking of generations you can keep it for generations and generations and 
again this farm we've got new people come in every day lots of you uh, may not know what I'm even talking about with some of this but these things have been made since uh, 1873 without a lot of changes and almost continuously and they're still being made as far as I know at Colt even though not as many as they used to make so uh, they're, they're just kind of special you know to, to put it mildly and you know my opinion on them so there's not much of a gun review so I'm not really reviewing it you know when you see me with one of these or, or, well generally speaking we could be reviewing a Uberti or some different different one but by and large it's just I'm slobbering all over it and enjoying it and sharing it with you right and that's kind of what we do sometimes we're not just gun reviewers quote unquote if we even are reviewers we don't pretend to be we just give our opinion on different firearms and often it's not even necessarily a, a newer gun of course or or something that we're trying to help you decide on what to buy i'm uh, actually bringing something out that that is something i'm trying to sell you i think you should have a single action whoever makes it you need a single action in your collection in your life you really do it will make you a happier person you'll be much more contented you'll be less angry about everything or anything i promise if you have one of these that you can enjoy at the range whether it's a birdie or a colt or whatever it might be okay i promise you that it's it's like a like a tranquilizer it's like just good medicine okay it's good medicine 45 colt third generation Okay, the cavalry model is sometimes called because of the seven and a half inch barrel length. 45 long Colt, stag grips, uh, does get much better. And I'm glad you came out on this pleasant evening to, to enjoy it with me. And I don't know of any other lies to tell you uh, other than life really is good. Got my hand back. I always wanted to do that. Okay, since you guys are here at the end of the video, I want to remind you of our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They're a fully accredited online distance learning program where you become certified in gunsmithing uh, or get an associate's degree in firearms technology. It's sdi.edu. And also, a uh, big announcement lately on the channel, our shirts are now with uh, Matt from Demolition Ranch's new company, Bunker Branding. So you can find shirts like this and many others over at uh, bunkerbranding.com slash 45 or just go uh, into the description and look for the link. And also you can go to our website and find that stuff and more things like Hickok, or our website is called hickok45.com. And you can also find our uh, Twitter, which is hickok45, Facebook, hickok45, uh, the real hickok45 on Instagram. Uh, there's a hickok45 and son YouTube channel. There's a John underscore hickok45. Instagram. Our videos are also on full30.com. And uh, also those of you who have been asking us to become a Patreon member, you can also find the link to that in the description. And we appreciate all those people, of course. And basically anything that you need to know is uh, probably going to be on the website somewhere. So we try to keep it easy for you guys. You know, there's no excuses because we know you're already on the internet. If you're looking at this, you're probably on the internet. So all you got to do is open your browser. And if you're on your TV, I know you got a phone in your pocket. So no excuses. All right. Uh, okay, now what you should do is uh, watch one of these other other videos, as long as it's one of ours, because everything else is uh, is not good, of course. All right. Thank you.